Hello and welcome back. It's been two months since uh, Computorio made its debut and in the last two months it has grown up a bit. It's faster and definitely better. So let me show you around just very briefly. Down here we have the uh, read-only memory the area where we store the instructions and uh, various uh, constants. There are 128 words of read-only memory. And now here is the read-write memory. There are 64 words here. This area contains the uh, registers concerned with the uh, program control, reading and writing. So the first register, probably the most important, is the program counter. As you can see, program counter basically generates addresses for the uh, instructions. Right now it's cycling in the areas 187, 188. The next important uh, register is the uh, data register, which assists the program counter with uh, generating branches, jumps, and uh, data accesses. Next on the list is the uh, index register. Index register is used in uh, certain modes of addressing, especially when dealing with arrays like strings, etc. And the last, but certainly not the least, is the uh, stack register. The stack register is used to implement the call and return instructions, which of course implement the uh, subroutines or functions. All in all, uh, Mark II has uh, 32 different instructions. The uh, instructions support several different addressing modes in addition to the uh, immediate, direct, addressing. It also supports indirect addressing, indexed addressing, stack addressing, and index indirect addressing. Next on the list is the uh, instruction decoder. This is the bit that translates all the instructions into various signals. Like for example down here you see the various signals for given instruction. In this case this is instruction number 16. Some of them, uh, some of the instructions uh, take less time to complete than others. So we have the clock that uh, allows variable instruction timing. That's how we speed up the uh, Mark II. And here, of course, is the uh, arithmetic and logic unit. Uh, the main register here is the uh, accumulator that stores the results of the computation, and then the various types of uh, computations allowed are the uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Uh, oops. Down here, of course, we have we generate the uh, status flags, which are used in branching. So, for example, if the result is zero or non-zero or greater than zero, etc. Here we have the uh, input port where we monitor eight different inputs. Um, the inputs uh, currently monitoring are the various fluids coming in from refineries, uh, crude, uh, light, heavy, lube, gas, and uh, water and fuel, or the coal. The last input down here is used to uh, control the program. So right now there's nothing in this smart chest, so the program is cycling and scanning this chest. But if we put something in it, we will see some changes. Okay, here we go. As you can see, right now the program is monitoring the uh, various fluids and inputs and uh, comparing them against preset limits, whether they're high, whether they're low, or acceptable. Right now gas seems to be okay, there's a thousand and fourteen. Lube is 
pi, 1234, etc. Now the intention behind Mark II is to be used in controlling the factory. The first step in control of course is the measure. So this is a demo showing how you can measure certain variables. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I'll be most happy to respond.